He's become the butt of the late night laughs over the past few days. It was reported that the blackmailer Joe Halderman was threatening to reveal embarrassing details of Letterman's personal life. For example, after sex, he would always say, stay tuned for Craig Ferguson. <laughs> if you can't beat him, well... Did your weekend just fly by? <laughs> I'll be honest with you folks, right now I would give anything to be hiking on the Appalachian Trail. I... Fans at Monday night's taping said Letterman handled the situation like a pro. Very into it, very energized, it was a lot of fun and I think uh, people really generally support him. It did get serious for a few minutes when Letterman, a very private person, again used his very public forum speaking directly to his staff and then his wife, Regina Lasco. She has been horribly uh, hurt uh, by my behavior. And when, when something happens like that, if you, if you hurt a person, then it's your responsibility, you try to fix it. And at that point, there's only two things that can happen. Either you're going to make some progress and get it fixed, or you're going to fall short and perhaps not get it fixed. Letterman also stressed those sexual relationships are over. I would just like to set the record straight. No, I'm not having sex with these women. Uh, those episodes are in, in the past. Meanwhile, the 27-year CBS veteran accused of demanding $2 million from Letterman to keep quiet about his sexual past is firing back. Joe Haldeman's lawyer says Letterman is a master at manipulation. He wanted to get out ahead of the story, and that's exactly what he did. Halderman has pleaded not guilty to attempted grand larceny. He's been suspended from his job at CBS News. And if convicted, he could face up to 15 years in prison. Now, for his part, Letterman acknowledged last night, ladies and gentlemen, this is only phase one of the scandal. Phase two, next week, I go on Oprah and Saw.